Hey you going, it's Richard from Getting Raw and today I want to speak to Marissa Street from Fit Professionals. She's uh, one of the major sponsors on fitness marketing and I want to find out who she is, what she does, what her company does. At the end of the day, they're a recruitment agency for specializing in the fitness industry. So I want to really uh, take the mist out of why I use a recruitment agency, what the benefits, uh, who, why aren't we using it and um, so let's just chat and let's just see where we can get to with Marissa. So you're in the fitness industry, I think, which is the most important thing. Absolutely. What, what's, where did you start in the industry? Oh, look, I've come from a personal training background, um, owning my own business, uh, being mobile, to working out of a facility, a 24-hour model, yep. and then subcontracting trainers on top of that as well. So You've been in the trenches. I have been. I've been right in there and I've been got my hands dirty, so yeah. to speak. How yeah. long have you been in the industry for? I've been in the industry, uh, actually professionally I started when I was about 14, I was a gymnastics coach when I was about 14, oh, so and uh, I was training the men's gymnastics, that was challenging. So, uh, and then I think since then I, I've, I've got into it professionally, since 2005 I actually got my qualifications and started working uh, from that, yeah. Okay, so now um, you've obviously found something missing and now you're really focusing on the recruitment. And I believe this is the first time, I don't know, I could be wrong, this is the first time a specialist in recruiting is an industry. Absolutely. Uh, it actually came about, there was a client that I was training who's now my business partner. Yep. And we were doing a training session one day. We used to talk about business ideas all the time. And he's also come from a, a fitness background as well. And I think we just got frustrated trying to find the right people, even when I was subcontracting for a trainer. Yeah. I found it. I found it really hard to go through that whole screening process of what I want to look for, and and ideally somebody that's looking after the health of my clients was really important, uh, especially with in terms of the clients. I used to think of them as if they were training my brother or my sister or yep. or my, my family, you know. So that was really important for me. Uh, we got really frustrated to try and find that and, and, and work on that process. So that was sort of where the idea came of it. It was born out of frustration. Well, frustration and, and, and passion behind it, it really makes you drive into something, doesn't it? You know, if you, you've got that option of, of creating something something amazing for this industry, and this is where we found the niche was missing. Um, there's three my, there's three directors, there's Melissa, David, and myself. Okay. And uh, we've spent many, many hours, days, weekends, uh, traveling up and down uh, both coasts of of Queensland and across through Australia as well and, yep. and after eight months of, of really solidly putting in this concept and working on this model, um, we went national after eight months which is fantastic. So that was evident there that this industry really needs the recruitment aspect. Well I met your team at the uh, the recent Brisbane Awards, uh, Awards Night and they were bobbly, they were personal and I was like, Absolutely. who are these guys? What are they doing? <laughs> What's Fit Professional about? So that's where I came to um, sort of uh, know more about Fitness Professionals but I have seen you around the industry. Facebook or something doing different things so thing. I've seen you around which is really good and I think that's really important for the fitness industry because I think the fitness industry is a bit of a, a close bunch and a clucky bunch and uh, Absolutely. we're very like certain certain people and certain opportunities we like to live so we like to sort of keep things in-house I believe as much as possible in this industry but what I want to know is like okay, on my backgrounds uh, not not gyms more 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 corporate more personal training but why would I choose a recruitment company over going and paying 200 bucks and getting on a seek? Um, that's what I, I think the big question would be out there that uh, getting raw would like to sort of figure out why. What's, of course. what's the pros, what's the cons? Yeah, look, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a question that we had to do a lot of market research before we, before we launched the yeah. idea. And, and what we found was there was a couple of things. One is that there's about 4,000 candidates that we have or students that are coming out of RTOs. Uh, nationwide every month, 4,000. Where are these 4,000 people going? And that was that was our biggest question. We found that every second person was a trainer or working in sales or doing MC or any type of role that we look after within the fitness industry. Uh, when we when actually saw these business owners and we asked the question, you know, where do you find your staff? And a lot of them did say they went to the, the major job boards. But what happened was anybody was sort of clicking on that apply button and they would have a thousand resumes. And so when I you think we're more experienced as gym Absolutely. owners or personal trainers owners, you, that's get, right. you get bombarded. And that's right, and you want the best. You want the best for your gym, your, yeah. your environment as well, and you want to make sure that, that that person is going to drive that business forward. Okay. So the way that we designed it is that we went and asked the question, what are you looking for in business? You know, What type of person are you looking for to suit this type of model? The demographic is all very different as well. And we came back and we actually put together seven key ingredients 
that we found yeah. from business owners, which was great. So it's like personality, you know, what, but we got really specific on the personality and the knowledge and the processes even. So we really broke it down, these seven key components now that we actually use in our recruitment process. Yep. So after getting this market research, we actually put the software together to be able to combine a general sort of templated uh, system where we could filter through resumes, but we also adapted the, the component of the fitness industry because it's really specific. Yeah. And between the three of us, we're very diverse in the type of roles that we've been in, like our background in personal training, group fitness management. So we put those together and we actually filled in the seven key components. So instead of having a thousand resumes coming for you for one job, we take the top percent of Australia's fitness professionals okay. and we place them in your business. Got you. Hmm. So all the work's done for you. Absolutely. So you can actually run your business. Hmm. Um, and then I guess the big question people are going to ask, what are the costs? Absolutely, yeah. And, and, and what we've done is we've actually, we've got to be industry driven. Right. So we, we have three different types. We have a retainer process. Yep. And the retainer, just to break that down very briefly, is, is basically, you know, you've got 12 months that we sort of spread those costs out. We understand what it's like to have a business. Yep. So we try and keep those costs low for, per month. Uh, the reason why we have that retainer over the 12 months as well is that it starts from four placements for that 12 months. So you may need four people within the 12 months. This industry is a fast turning industry, okay. not necessarily because of the high churn and burn, because we're trying to regulate that. Yep. It's more that you know, you're expanding, you need some more sales consultants, you might need some more personal trainers on the floor. That's why we have that retainer in process. The other two is that we have our general ad hoc. So if you're a small studio, this might be suited towards you where uh, you just need that one person because yep. that someone has left unexpectedly. Yep. So you can give us a call and just do the general ad hoc. We also have the third service as well for anyone that has like an in-house recruitment. So if they have their own type of little in-house, we want to support that service to, to provide good candidates. Okay. So we actually have something where we can put it on a job board. The job board's branded with the professionals purely because it takes away perception yep. as well. And we send you the top candidates from that as well. So they can select us. Right. Hmm. Okay. So you've got three different styles, but I mean, in regards to you know, uh, recruitment, I mean, what I know about recruitment is it's, it could be twenty, thirty thousand dollars it's going to cost. Is, is that it, where we're getting to? Is it we get no, the same cost as normal recruiters here? Or what? Not at all. The most that you'll pay will be two thousand dollars for a, for a person that's going to earn under the fifty thousand dollar income. You know, like we've we've had to drive this price purely based on industry. We aren't in any way or form like to use the word discounted or cheap or anything like that because we want to give you quality yeah. but we can't price ourselves out of the market of the industry we understand the industry as well yeah. and so we like to ensure that you know your costs are kept down as well as the service and the quality that we're delivering is really high end well I think it's really good because I know firsthand that if I'm looking for staff and I've got one job on seek and I put another one on seek I've like got like I spent six seven hundred dollars just on seek and I still haven't found my person I need of course yeah and then if they leave you got the same process again but I think the key that you guys have is the time factor that's right we give you back time that's right and that's that's it's, that's um, that's valuable you know that's like right. time is and very those valuable. those plans you got on to make it actually even easier cheaper and, and, and sort of go straight to your cash flow it makes it very simple so I think it's really key and you know fit uh, recruitment agencies you know we know them as they're hard they're ruthless they're always on the phone they're always chasing but oh, it no, sounds we'll, like that you guys we'll are love you different to you know that's, what I mean? that's how we are we're, and we're, understand that's it. and I'm at, I'm at uh, where are we are in Brisbane today um, Marissa hopped into a pers uh, the fitness biz just in terms of fitness biz today and there she was networking getting involved in the industry so I think it's really you'll see her around you'll see Marissa around your team and I think it's a good I think it's a good fit this industry needs is we need something a little bit different, not just a third party coming in, but actually someone that's in that knows us, that knows what we want about personal trainers, being a personal trainer, that knows about sales managers. So you guys can cater for everything fitness. Absolutely, yeah? everything. Okay. Any so position. we're talking about CEOs from yeah, clubs, of we're talking about personal trainers, absolutely low end, robot instructors, subcontract, salary, you name it, everything. The works. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we're this is the first year fitness professionals, is that right? It is, so yes. We're coming up to our, uh, our one year birthday next year, start great. of next year. Great, excellent. So, and so excellent. we should be seeing you guys everywhere shortly. It's very exciting, yes, it's absolutely. Good. It's good. Especially now on Meet Your Marketing. So. And I want to also too, I know you said about seven seven strategies, so I'm going to I'm gonna stop shortly and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze the seven strategies out of you because sure. I think business owners, even if you don't want to go down the recruitment path, I think what you've got eight months of one year of research and development into this. I think you could teach a few, a few people a few things about recruitment and the best processes for it. Sure. So we'll do that also too. But um, 
thanks for thought and um, we look forward to having you on Fitness Marketing. My pleasure.